James Kaufman, World News Report today, February 6, 2025. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, we've had a large solar flare, this time an M7.69 solar flare, directly earth-facing, coming out of sunspot 3981. Definitely created a curl mass ejection and definitely inbound towards Earth. This peaked right before 12 UTC time, or right before 6 a.m. Central here in the U.S. Let's take a look at what we have. A ton of solar action today, but only one M-flare. The last 72 hours, this was the biggest M-flare. This M, 7.69. You can see it was generated right here. It peaked at 11.04. Generated from sunspot 3981. And ladies and gentlemen, everything else has been just a C flare. We have a 25% chance of having an X class solar flare today, an 85% chance of another M class solar flare, and we've been running at a C baseline for most of the year, so let's just put that at 100% that we'll have a C flare or 20 today. Over to HMI Intensogram. We have 3981 and 3977, both Delta class sunspots. We have one Beta Gamma class sunspot right in the middle there, 3978. Most of this stuff is headed towards the outgoing limb, but it is still in play for sure. We currently have 11 sunspot groups Earth-facing on our solar disk. Over to SDO HIA. This looks like a much larger blast. As you can see here, again, peaked at around 11.04 UTC time, so just after 5 a.m. this morning, you felt a little jolt. All right, headed over to our Go Solar Ultraviolet Imager 195 Angstroms. This is the big group of sunspots that we have here. And we have a coronal hole just about Earth-facing. We should see an uptick in solar winds in about 40 hours. We also have several new sunspots coming around the limb as we saw just now on HMI Intensogram. So, over to Lasco C3. Well, we can see a coronal mass ejection was lifted. Looks like it's mostly headed north, but this was a large coronal mass ejection and almost an X class solar flare. So, you can see that this could be big problems for Earth in the next 48 hours. Head over to our D-Region Absorption Prediction Center. Like so many times before, we see that that solar flare popped off while the sun was over Africa and most all of the Atlantic. You can see that South Africa was definitely, definitely hit. It's a lot of radiation. We'll take a look at the radiation throughout the day. As you can see, everyone's getting their ample dose of radiation. After all, we're running a C baseline solar flare. Over to SDO HMI magnetogram, we can see the complexity of all these sunspots. That's going to be the two delta class sunspots and the one beta gamma class sunspot all grouped together there. We've got some new sunspots coming around the limb that also look quite complex. This is STO HMI magnetogram. 
Head over to Soho, turn A for Angstrom's. It looks like they had some problems today. This was taken at 7.0 or 6.06 this morning, but it's very little information. Not quite sure what would cause something like that. That said, guys, we have a coronal mass ejection inbound after that big M7.69 solar flare. And we'll be looking for that in about 40 hours, along with a uptick in solar winds because of the earth-facing coral hole. God bless. Please share, subscribe, and always remember, anything's possible. The bizarro world.